Did you see the debate last night? Uh, yes, I did catch the debate, which most people would th- think, uh, Anthony, you're getting up at 3 in the morning to come in and uh, and do the show. What the hell are you up f- uh, watching the debate for? Well, my sleep habits are still a little awry. I can't figure it out. I cannot figure out how to wake up early in the morning, what I should do. So you know what I, I do? I, I drive home and I fall asleep immediately. I cannot stay awake. People are like, what you got to do is stay awake until about uh, 8 o'clock at night. Then you go to sleep, you wake up, and you come into work. I, I pass out the second I get home. And then I wake up at about 8 o'clock at night. And then I'm up from 8 o'clock until 1.30, 2 in the morning. And then I snooze for a good hour. And then I come in here on about an hour's sleep. <laughs> Yeah, we really got to figure this out. I can't figure it out. You know, yesterday when we were doing the show, mm. Anthony and I have been doing afternoon radio for about 10 years, so this yeah. is really brand new for us. want to mm-hmm. say hi to all the people that got their XM radios tuned in. Uh, oh, a new batch uh, today. New batch every day. The audience yes. slowly but surely growing as we spread the ONA virus across America. Uh, yesterday, though, at the end of the show, mm-hmm. I started getting uh, delirious. Because oh, yeah. I, I look up at the TV and I'm like, why is the Today Show on in the afternoon? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I, I get home and maybe I, I try to stay awake, so I, I throw on some TV. And I keep thinking it's a lot later than it is. Yeah. I'm like, oh, where's Seinfeld's got to be on somewhere, you know? No, it's the horrible afternoon uh, television is on. So who won the debate? I didn't really get to see it. I, I saw some highlights. and it, it just looked like, I, I don't know, John Edwards was talking to the principal of a high school or something. That's pretty much what it looked like. I, I, I thought it was more like John Edwards looked like uh, like Cheney's son, and he was ready to ask him for, his, uh, for the car keys or something. They were just going at each other like an old crotchety bastard, which Cheney is. J- Cheney and Bush both at these debates look like they just could not be bothered, don't want to be there, feel that it's uh, their right for uh, to, to be elected for another four years, and they shouldn't have to go through all this silly stuff like debates and an election process and all that crap, you know. They should just be given the four years because, damn it, they've earned it with the past four years. And uh, Cheney came off that way, like he just couldn't be bothered. He didn't even, you know, at, at, on the debates, how everybody has a set amount of time, and then the, the moderator, who, by the way, last night was horrible, I'll get into that too, the, the moderator says, okay, um, Vice Pre- Mr. Vice President, you have 30 seconds. He goes, nah, nah. He just would like grunt and go, nah, I've got, no. And wouldn't even utilize the 30 seconds of, of debate time to debate. The guy w- it was just a crotchety old bastard who didn't want to be there. He also, um, I think Edwards did a good job uh, uh, pointing out the, the, the bullshit from the, uh, the administration and, and how they twist things around. And, um, I, and Cheney, I don't know, I'd like to give the American people a little more credit than, than to believe a lot of the stuff that, that uh, Cheney was putting out there, a lot of the criticism of, of Kerry. I'm not a Kerry fan. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know I sound like I'm I'm a Democrat and a Kerry fan. I'm not. Well, yesterday you sounded like a Republican. Today you're mm-hmm. sounding like a Democrat. I know. This is how it is. This is how it is with these no, two why, candidates. Because they for. both stink. They both suck. We were on uh, Sean Hannity's show. He, he was asking us uh, who we we would, would uh, vote for. And I said, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not voting because I don't like the choices. Yeah. And then people, you know, are sending me email. You're not a, an American because you're not voting. Yeah. If you don't like the choices, you make a statement by not voting. Right. I'm not voting. You're I don't like voting. either guy. John Kerry seems sincere, though. <laughs> he seems like a genuine, down-to-earth guy. I'll tell you something. He came off as a very prepared guy. He was prepared. He had a lot of facts. And um, Cheney, again, just following this line of let's discredit, let's discredit Kerry. Oh, did, did Norton blast the fart now? And, and, and now I'm going to puke in the studio. We're having a serious political discussion. Okay. You couldn't wait? You couldn't wait for the TNA break to do the, the fart thing? Of course he I couldn't. I scared. I won't be farting today, though. <laughs> oh. I'm nice and clean today. <laughs> so what, you, what, <laughs> what Cheney's doing <laughs> and, and what Bush does and the, 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 their whole thing that they're doing uh, is discrediting uh, Kerry. And the way they do it is twist around what he said and what he's done. And the biggest thing that they've been hitting on is the fact that um, – Kerry has been saying the wrong war, wrong place, wrong time, and how Kerry voted uh, for the war and then comes out against the war. 
Well, the truth of the matter is, and I don't know why Kerry doesn't spell this out in black and white for the people, what he did was vote for the use of force against Saddam Hussein, which is fine. You want to vote for that. And then when they say he came out against the war after he voted for the war, just because he voted to use force against Saddam doesn't mean you immediately then use force. That's what he did. He, he voted to use force as a tool with diplomacy, with getting some allies on our side, getting a coalition together. Not just, you know, okay, we voted for war. Go get them, boys. It wasn't that situation. But now they're using that. And Cheney was pounding that last night. Oh, he voted for the war, but then he comes out against it. Well, and so many American people get fooled by this stuff and just listen to it at face value and take what Cheney and Bush are saying at face value. Oh, this guy's flip-flopping. Flip-flopper, Opie. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't stand for anything. Well, open your mind up. Listen to what both sides are saying. Separate the crap from the fact. Do some research on your own. Don't use Fox News as your only source for uh, news. <laughs> I mean, you really have to educate yourself to uh, what we report. Both you decide. Report. Oh, uh, the no spin zone. Holy tornado! They're spinning like crazy over there. It's a. Uh, it's it's the Bush Cheney machine. You're over right, at but Fox. it's the only place in the media. You are right about Fox, but it's the only place where there's a conservative slant it, on the media. It really isn't. I mean, look at it, CNN. Look at uh, major networks. Look what Ted, I would. Uh, you know something? Dan just CNN. Well, okay. I take CBS and I take Dan Rather as being very liberal. Uh, CNN. I would look at CNN more uh, more as as they they kind of put the facts out there. I think you could make a better decision based on what CNN's broadcasting than what Fox News is broadcasting. I have more faith in Al Jazeera than I do in CNN. <laughs> <laughs> it, I don't know. I don't find them as left as, as Fox, Fox is, is right. right. Yeah. Hey, um, Anthony, I want to go to line seven because Pete has a comment about the debate. But uh, All right. My phone system is just showing a log on to Windows screen. Oh, that's great. Uh, your Norton antivirus is is popping up on your phone screen. See, this would be a great time to go to the phones and get the other side. Right, because I would I'm sure, kind of like to... I'm sure people aren't too happy about uh, things that Anthony are saying. Maybe they are, maybe some are agreeing, um, but I'm sure other people have another spin on this. But we can't go to the phones. How are we supposed to do a radio show without phones? Do you want me to pretend I'm the caller? Hello, I don't agree with yeah. you, Anthony. Hey, that's a bunch of bunk. <laughs> now to answer the phones, I need a username and password, but ah. they haven't passed those out to us yet. Yes, Ben? Ben's coming in now, and uh, he's going to help Looking out. Looking exasperated. Wes is uh, writing in on instant feedback saying, okay, who is Anthony voting for again? Because no one knows. Because you know what? I, I'm not straight on this yet. Yeah. I, I don't you're, want to vote for Bush. You're definitely a flip-flopper. I'm not kind you of. I'm not a flip flopper. Flop. I haven't made a decision yet. I don't want to vote for Bush, uh, but I don't want to vote for Kerry. But I don't want to not vote either. There's two things here. There's a selfish vote. I could be very selfish, and vote for what would be better for me uh, as a person. Financially, they financially, have... tax wise, things like that. They have. They should have a third party that's just like a really hot stripper. You think she'd get a lot of votes, Opie? Yeah, just to make a statement. You could vote for Ralph Nader, Ugh. who's pretty much working for the Republican Party. Yeah, who, that's that's who's the Republican he kidding? vote. If, who the f is he kidding? If you're voting for Nader, you're pretty much just uh, giving the vote to uh, the Bush Cheney camp. Well, I uh, the meltdown will happen tomorrow. By the oh, way. I see, I see it heating up already. I, in I will head. give them today, but the meltdown will happen tomorrow. Ooh. Ben, ha what are you doing, Ben? Why don't we go to the? Uh, well, we can't go. Why don't we take another break? Oh boy, uh oh. This is morning radio at its best, and we'll try to get the phone system working. Okay. Well, you're supposed to have a username and password whenever you answer a phone for a radio show, aren't you? <laughs> Isn't that normal? Hello, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Tick tack. Toe. The only way to win is not to play. Ugh, faggot social message computer. The end of that war games. Ugh, Matthew Broderick should have raped that chick while the whole world exploded. <laughs>